Barakatha Hao, Barakatha Hao is Sha, Barakatha Hao, Barakatha Hao is Sha. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Sha, Bahashim Rikakadash. Yahweh be the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Sha be the name of His only begotten Son, who they ignorantly call Jesus Christ. Now you got um the United States of America and the thought I was thinking of that these um Edomites in America they're gonna be given power to uh, pretty much start that great tribulation when uh they try to implement this uh worldwide a uh, mandate or mandate over the people and the people they not going to be having it as a whole so that's what's going to cause all kind of chaos in a civil war now mind you this is the same people that's that great whore they talked about in Revelation 17 where well, they sit on many waters because they got all the embassies. They got six embassies in China. China really being monitored by America because those embassies that they got in China, they um they got mili them military bases. Because in the embassy, they don't just have uh, a building with people in there doing paperwork. They got tanks and guns and all kind of stuff at their embassy. And if the embassy get attacked, they gonna do the fighting. But they got six embassies, then they got consulates to the embassy. It ain't just a uh, embassy that they got. And that's just in China. They got this all over the world. And all these other countries, they got an embassy. And they at number one. 271 embassies, not even adding the consulates, uh, connected to those embassies that they got around the world. They at number one. So they are this great whore. This is what Apostle John was seeing, this great whore that sits on many waters. And that waters is talking about nations, peoples, and tongues. Those nations, peoples, and tongues is talking about countries that have their governments and their military and their embassies around the world because also these other countries got embassies, but the problem is well, it's going to take it to Revelation 6 because this red, the red horse or the red dragon See, they got multiple countries, but they one nation. See, that's why he described it as a dragon with ten heads and uh, seven heads and ten horns, because they got um, multiple uh, countries and kings, but they are only one nation. So they one beast, but they got different parts of the beast. See, that beast represent a nation. And that nation represents a nationality and an ethnic group. See, it don't represent a government or um, a constitution of people. It represents a, 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 a ethnic group. So you see, you had the Edomites, the Moabites, the Ammonites, the Israelites. These are nations in the Bible. See, when you're talking about a biblical nation, this is what the, those beasts was representing. But they gonna name it Grecians and all this other stuff. Well, it identified them too, when, even when they tried to hide it, because now you can't get it mixed up because we know who the Grecians were. They was all so-called white peoples. And so these are the same people that got these embassies all over the place. And the ten horns that got, um, that's ran by the Edomites, 
they got many different um embassies around the world. So really, this 271 is connected to America. But when you're looking at that dragon and the nations of the Edomites, they got way more embassies. See, the Edomites got embassies all around that number way above the 271. So as a nation, see, they got a lot of embassies. But just as America as a country and as a great city, they only got 271 to represent that great city. But when you go into Revelation 6, let's go in Revelation 6 real quick and look how it breaks this thing down in verse um, 8. But verse 4 and 5 talks about the red horse and the black horse. And the red horse, just like the red dragon, and Esau came out red, is talking about the so-called white man. You see, because it's letting you know that they got power over the whole earth. The Lord gave them a great sword, military, bioweapons, physical weapons. See, deception gave them the greatest weapons. And they the ones going to start mandating things just like they was mandating them in the group while they was being called Grecians, while they was being called Romans. They see they was mandating when they was called, when they was a Catholic church in the 1400s mandating slavery now when you get to verse 8 it says and I looked and behold a pale horse and his name that sat on him was death and hell followed him and power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth so the fourth part of the earth talking about that great whore and power is going to be given to them to do what? To kill with the sword and with hunger and with death and with the beasts of the earth. So power is going to be given to these Edomites here in America. See, not going to be given to the Edomites in Germany. Not going to be given to the Edomites in Russia. Not going to be given to the Edomites in China. It's going to be given to the Edomites on the fourth part of the earth. See, this is who it's going to be given to. And this is what it's talking about. Because they the ones that's going to have power to uh, make, make that um, thing mandated. See, that's when they're going to be the black horse. But that black horse is going to transition into that, that pale horse. And it's all going to be in the fourth part, the fourth part of the earth. And so, I would have thought I was uh, thinking about how they isolated that fourth part of the earth is where this pale horse is going to be having power. So, you're not going to have power over the whole earth. It says power was given him over the fourth part of the earth. So in America, it's going to start being a major bloodbath where people are going to be fighting each other and having all kind of anarchy coming against each other because they're they going to go against their government. And when you look at the Civil War movie, you had the president, he was being shot at the end of the movie, but he had people protecting him. And then you had the, the government seem like the, the military because they was coming after the president. And these weren't just rebels coming after the president because they was flying helicopters. To fly a helicopter, you got to know what you're doing. You got to be trained. To fly a rod in a tank, you got to know what you're doing. So you just can't jump in the tank and say, oh, we're going to fight. So these were military soldiers the, 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 the people that was in the military, they coming against the White House and the president, and they having the whole civil war, you see. So you got that kind of atmosphere that's coming to America, like Eddie Murphy from uh, the kingdom of Zamunda. 
See, they they gonna this all all of this is gonna rain down on America. And when this going on, the Lord is gonna pop up. See, let's get that. Let's see here. Jeremiah 49, 22. They say, Behold, he shall come up and fly as the eagle and spread his wings over Basra. And at that day shall the heart of the mighty men of Edom be as the heart of a woman in her pain. Now he said he going to spread his wings over Basra. So now they're giving you a location. And that Basra is talking about Babylon the Great America. Because when you go into Isaiah 34, it tells you where these missiles is coming. See, the missiles is going to Babylon. So when you go into Isaiah 34, and it says this, it says, For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon our doom here, and upon the people of my curse to judgment. Talking about the Edomites. But it's going to give you a location. It says in verse 6, it says, The sword of the Lord is filled with blood. It is made fat with fatness. And with the blood of lambs and goats, with the fat of kidneys of ram, for the Lord have a sacrifice in Basra. So they're giving you a location. Same way Jeremiah was telling you, he's coming to Basra. Uh, he's going to fly over Basra. We know this is where the deliverance is going to be. He's going to be delivering the Israelites up out of America. It says, and a great slaughter in the land of Idumia. See, it's going to be a great slaughter going on before those missiles hit this place. Civil war. That's why they got movies. Uh, the, the, the leave this world behind. See, people are going to be invading each other's home, looking for food, looking for survival uh, supplies. See? This is what's going to be going on in Babylon, the Great America. They have a Basra, Connecticut. See, they named it after the Edomites. That's not a, a by coincidence. The Lord set that up to let people know this is where the new Basra is going to be. This is what the Basra I'm talking about is right here in America. Then he say, um, Edom, Texas. See, Texas is, is, the, is the main place where you have immigrants in flood into the country, and you got them saying that they disagree with all of the rest of the governors in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the country, and they don't want people coming into their state. So they might be some of the first people to uh, disassociate themselves with America and, and, and go uh rogue and fight against America. You see? But this place is uh Basra and it's the fourth part of the earth and it's the great whore. And this is where the nuclear missiles is coming and this is where all chaos and anarchy and civil war is coming. So Babylon the Great America. The the great city that rule over the kings of the earth. Let's look at that. Let's get that in 17. I'll round, wrap it up with 17, 16, and 18. <laughs> it says, And the ten horns which you saw upon the beast, these shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. That's that nuclear missile. Coming to the great whore. Coming to Basra. Verse 18, it says, and the woman which you saw is that great city. See, that great city is that Basra that's going to get destroyed, which reign over the kings of the earth. See, they got 271 over around the world dominating and bossing the other peoples around. They're the ones that can put sanctions on your country and tell you what to do. And so... I'm going to leave it there. I'll praise it to you. How about Shimmy? How about Shabba? How about Shimmy? Cock it, Dash. The ones to the elders pushing the truth. Peace to the elect. Worldwide, the blacks, the Spanish, the Native Americans. 
descendants of slaves scattered around the globe on slave ships and through many captivity. Our kingdom is at hand, Shalom.